there are some people especially atheist who asks why doesn't god kill all the evil people in the world if he is such a good god why doesn't he kill remove all the evil people from this world so that only good people live now i want to answer to such people why doesn't god kill evil people reason number 1 god is a father right his love for mankind is perfect he loves us in the most perfect way which human mind cannot think let me give you an example imagine there is a father a human father who has three sons now two of his sons are very good people they are obedient to him they are good in all aspects but the third guy has some problem he creates havoc he steals he gets angry he hits people he doesn't respect people he is not obedient and he does all sorts of bad thing now do you think the human father would immediately banish the son out of his sight or will he not advise him will he not try to correct him will he not counsel him and bring the bad boy back into the correct path if a human like us who are sinful and morally corrupted in all possible ways think so much about our sons how much will god the father who created us in his image and likeness think about his sons is it not a father's duty to give opportunity for the person to repent to correct his mistakes life on earth is only a pilgrimage my dear friends we live here for some times and as per the christian teaching if you live a good life worthy of god's mercy you would go to heaven for eternally if you live a bad life you go to hell so life on earth is an option god is giving you the option to be either good or to be bad it's personally our choice god has given each one of us a free will to do anything we want and god as a just father doesn't interrupts in that free will he he just tries gives opportunity after opportunity to correct people right second reason why god does not destroy all the evil people in the world is because there is good in every person for example take for example a businessman whom we think is a very bad businessman who indulges in bad business practices and who should be destroyed who should be killed by human way of thinking but can you imagine the number of people working under him if god removes that evil person from the world immediately do you think what impact that would have on hundreds of family that are dependent on him so god is showing mercy not on that one person but on the hundreds of people dependent on him right so god gives opportunity to that person to repent another example i would give you there was a person in kerala right he was a bad person This is a real life example. He was a murderer. In his lifetime, he has completed. He has uh, done not completed. He has done five murders, and the fifth murder was the most gruesome one. He took a knife and stabbed one of a police officer, which he hated, right? And after stabbing the person, he took the knife out with the blood, put it in a glass of alcohol, mixed it, and drank it. right that is how evil the person was now that person was caught and put behind bars for a very large number of years then on some visit a few good people went and spoke to him right religious people went and spoke to him and made him realize about his mistake that person understood how evil he was outside in the world then when he was released after many years he started a very good old age home for people and now in this day he is serving at about 250 people near nashik where his ashram is flourishing right so if by human morals after uh, murdering someone if god had killed him that person would have never got the opportunity sh- to show the goodness within him right to do the balance the amount of damage which is done he is balancing it with the amount of good he has done that is god father's love he is giving chance for his people to repent and come back to him the third reason why god doesn't kill evil people right at the moment is everyone is evil <laughs> the reason why you and me are not committing a sin or doing a major crime is because we don't have the means to do it <laughs> now you may tell me that you are judging us very harshly but no that's the truth imagine a person who is stealing who stole from a jewelry store 
Why does a person steal? The basic reason is hunger. Greed comes later, but the most basic reason why a person accust accustoms himself to stealing is because of hunger. Now, a person brought up in a poor family is stealing. That's justifiable. What about us? Are we honest? How many of us have paid our taxes at the right time? How many of us have filed wrong income tax returns? How many of us have submitted wrong tax declaration proofs? How many of us have robbed the company by filing wrong claims, travel claims especially? We do that, right? We everyone do that. Then we have the nerve to blame the other person telling, oh, he's a thief. He stole this. He stole that. He did that. He did that. But my dear friends, look in the mirror. You will see the same thief in yourself. Let it be small. In when it comes to a sin, there is no small sin or bigger sin. Obviously, sin is a sin. Crime is a crime. If that person is a criminal, we also are a criminal. But the point is, we are not yet caught. Right? There are people who rape women, right? I too agree, rape is a very serious sin and which should be dealt with utmost strict punishment. But look in the mirror, have you not raped a woman? Now you may ask, no, I haven't raped any woman, I'm pure. My friends, have you watched porn movies? What happens in a porn movie? You may argue that those artists are paid for their act. Not everyone, my dear friends. There are people whose uh, intimate videos are shot by hidden camps. There are some people who are forced into adulteration, adultery. Right? For example, the war in Ukraine has displaced millions of people. What do you think uh, many women without house or without any support would be forced into? Slavery, sex slaves, adultery. Right? So, definition of rape is fulfilled here. What is the definition of rape? When you violate a woman's, uh, violate a woman without her permission, it constitutes a rape. That is exactly what you are doing. You are through the lens of pornography, you are viewing an intimate video of a woman. So if God decides to kill all evil people, don't you think you and me would be first on the list? Although you haven't raped anyone. Yes, from the body you haven't raped anyone. But deep in the heart, you know that you have viewed multiple porn videos, hidden videos, intimate videos of complete strangers, which qualifies as rape. So if God decides to kill evil people, our name would be on the top of the list. Don't you think? Fourth reason, God is a just God. Can you compare the life of a bad person and a good person? As I told you before, there are many people who are good only because the situation allows them to be. If a person, a robber, stealing something, imagine if you grew up in his family, poor, completely shattered with no harm. Don't tell that God created poverty. God never created poverty. That's a proof. It's human greed, human who wanted more for themselves, who are powerful, attracted more money to themselves, depriving the poor. Poverty is created by men and it is only men who can eradicate it. Don't blame poverty on God. So if a person growing in such situation does a crime and you steals tax from the government or files a wrong uh, claim, don't you think we both are equal? That person who was hungry stole, but us who are in a good house, has a good family background, yet we decided to steal from the government, from the company. Does that make us both on an equal scale? So before complaining about God, telling that God is not a just God, why doesn't he kill all the evil person? Look at your face, look in the mirror and analyze yourself. You will find all the evils that were con com done by the people behind bars are also done by me, are also done by us. Not in a big way, but in a smaller way. Because God does not look at the appearance or the action of the person. He looks at the heart. Jesus Christ says in, says in the gospel that whenever a man looks at a woman and thinks bad about her, thinks about adulterous thoughts, he has committed adultery. Right? Only because if the opportunity arises, a man will do it. How many times have you walked by the street and saw a good woman and you have had bad thoughts about her? And if given the opportunity, you have committed adultery, right? Of course, men would have done that or women would have done the same to men. So many people are good only because the reason they did not have any opportunity. 
that but saying that i do not mean to justify every crime but what i mean to convey is when you judge someone think about you have you done that same mistake jesus christ says in the gospel throw the stone on a woman when a woman was caught in adultery there were jewish people who according to jewish law they had to stone her to death jesus came and asked every man let the first stone be thrown by that man who hasn't committed any sin and after few minutes there were no person standing there everyone left because if you look at your hearts we all know that we have all committed sin not major sins but yes in a smaller way in everyday life when you look at a woman lustfully when you uh, steal your company of your uh, time or file any false claim when you get angry against a person and keep that in your heart as a vengeance that it's a crime right when you do not respect the poor or deprive the poor of their rights or do not pay the poor or the uh, your laborers the correct wages that's a sin some are caught some are not caught the another reason is i want to mention about crime is there are people who complain that the politician is a corrupt man my dear friend if you were in his position you would have been bad multiple times because there are certain aspects which corrupts human morals first is money second is fame and third is power and fourth is women right as a person goes up in position all these things attracts him and you who are speaking of justice and morals if you are put in that position there is a good chance that you would do the same thing possibly more corrupt than the person sitting in seat so before calling anyone evil or judging that person think about yourself because the nature of god is such that before executing any justice he shows mercy first first once his mercy gets exhausted then only justice comes right so we humans should also exercise the same that first we have to show mercy irrespective of what the person has done because given that opportunity or in that situation i could have done the same mistake it's human weakness or human greed you can say or human uh, human mindset you can say right we aren't immune to those crimes we could have done the same thing but the situation was such that we grew up in a decent family in a decent environment got better education so we are thus if we were in a situation we would have done uh, similar things so before judging anyone show some mercy because god says in the gospel do not judge and thou shall not be judged let the one almighty god do the judgment because we only see the outer action not the inmost soul of a person let god be the judge thank you viva cristore